Edinburgh is a value-driven high school. Uh, values play an immense role. Uh, the traditional values of pride, respect and gentlemanship. But the holistic development of our learners into respected, well-adjusted adults are extremely important to us. And, and, and we believe many of the skills you need to acquire, you can acquire on the sports field. Paul Rose is a high school of 1,250 boys, with 245 of them residing in the two hostel establishments. I believe we're very balanced in our approach, and I think the strive for excellence in all spheres of Paul Rose's life is very important to us. I personally um, value uh, a player's character, his work ethic. Um, um, more than anything else, um, I, I've seen too many players with talent not making it. Um, so talent is obviously important, but if a player works hard, has a good culture, um, that I think is a deciding uh, factor. I think we have a very strong um, team vibe and everyone um, has been gelling nicely together. Obviously we still have a long way to go, but I am um, I'm very positive about how the team is feeling at the moment. Paul Rosa shaped me immensely, I'd say, with um, the friends I've made over the years here. Um, I describe the feeling as priceless, um, that no money could ever buy. Um, and I'm just very honored to be part of such a family. Well, I believe we have a great vibe at the moment. Like I said, we are privileged to have a lot of the guys played second team last year together, coming through the ranks, playing first team together. So. Um, we have a great bond, um, unity is great, so looking forward to everything. While there have been up, ups and downs, um, Paul Russ has shaped me and formed me um, and helped me get through these challenges, so immensely grateful for the opportunity to play for Paul Russ. Well, the Matrix have definitely welcomed in the grade 11s. Um, there's no division between the youngsters and the seniors, which I think is great. Um, everyone's excited for the season. Um, we're ready to go show South Africa what Paul Russ has to offer, and yeah, we're ready to make some memories. Coming in grade 8, I've definitely learned a lot. Um, there have been many great names that have come through the school. Um, and just the opportunities that Porus offer, I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere else. So I'm grateful for that and honoured because Porus has really done a lot for me and just allowed me to flourish in all areas and given me opportunities to be successful. Guts rather are in evidence on defense early on in this match. And Poros on the attack again. It's Borta out to Kate Volita. Look at him go. He is deceptive. And what a ball that is to Berger. Luke Berger beats his man. Berger still going within a couple of meters of the line now. Quick ball needed. The pop to the outside comes from Andre Smith. And it's Kate Volita in the corner. Alive out on the wing. But look at Luke Berger breaking through the tackles. It was brilliant play by the back line. Voller to the center of that play. He comes blind and finds space. Thank you. Brilliant finish. Well, he was starting at flank. He moves a lot. Kate Voliter. Oh, that ball is a beauty to Ronan Daniels. Ronan Daniels. Now he just needs to unleash his man on the outside. This is turning into a real cracker of a match. It's Luke Berger for Poros. Brilliant work coming in from Ronan Dalians, how he got that pass yeah. out to Luke Berger. Last time I played against him was 2010 in Matric. Um, it was a tough game. We went down, I think, 27-3 at half time, came back, lost the game towards the end. So it was a tough game. It was always been a tough game uh, through my whole school career. Um, and they always, they always up for poor risk and, and vice versa. It's always a, it's also always a very tough game. Counter-Ruck, strong from boys' eye. Volita, Croy gets out the pass. Paul Russ and Luke Berger back in it. Nobody on the outside for Paul Russ. It's going to be all physical. Now they have players flooding to the right. If they can secure quick ball, they cannot. And forward again goes Jordan Fenter. Numbers go on. Kane Body to the center to Labuskakhti. Labuskakhti, the captain courageous, scores the first try for Poros. Oh. 
direct to the line, Ruben Labuskakhni. Paul Ruiz on the brink of scoring their second try. They go right again, and it's staying short. It's Daniel Swat. It is on. The back line doesn't look ready to receive the ball. It's going to have to be all according to power. The knee is down, and he must be released. Powering their way forward once more. Paul Ruiz, the try is awarded. Two unanswered tries for the boys in maroon, and the old boys are going wild. It's been tapped back onto their side, untidily so. And once more, it's Jordan Victor. Victor, the phenomenon. He's in under the ball. What kind of a rugby match are we watching right now? It is pure entertainment. Sixteen points separate the two sides. A seven-pointer at the earliest possible convenience is of crucial importance. Small Smith with a fantastic tackle. No numbers on the left for Paul Royce. They'll have to keep it tight. Ierbison takes it in once more. Surely the Grey College defense tiring. The step and go is magnificent from Andre Smith. It looked like he was reaching out for the line. But short they are and Paul Royce continue to build. It's Fenter, the tireless warrior. Open side to Swartz. He takes a couple to stop him. And now the numbers still not out to the left for Paul Ross. They're keeping it tight and they'll continue to do so. Ibrison working his way around the corner. The, num the time ticking off the clock. Volita in the back line. That's a beggar of a pass. Kate Coy is going to score. No time to wait for Paul Ross. And the poor Ross boys did well. It's kept on pouncing with those forward players. Two Grey College focus back to that center court play, which is the fourth. And Kate Volita identifying space on the far lap with a one man overlap. And Kate Croy putting his name on the scoreboard. I think he coaches and his players just rock all the professional. I'll sit up school of luck. And do you feel like work with the insert video analysis? Will McCarr upside for every game? And how good they will play? Man, almost play for us. Plek eerder in die kruimwegspan of in die extra schoolspan. So ik denk die grote school is allemaal bij competitief en alle wel goede rugby spel elke nacht om die school trots te zijn.